Hello there, uh, this is an email tutorial uh, specifically on conversation view which can be very confusing at times so we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in. Um, so first of all conversation view uh, lets you see replies and forwards um, with regards to the same subject all in one area so it can kind of be nice rather than having to hunt through your email to find different threads so I'm gonna take a look at this uh, conversation right here uh, which is sent back and forth between two email accounts. I can see right now that there are five conversations in this thread. So I'm going to go ahead um, and click on the email. And you can see um, right here the subject is conversation view. Now the oldest email is on top. I can see this by the uh, date stamp and the time and the newest email is on the bottom. I can see three emails and then I can see two emails are hidden. Um, to be able to expand this, there's these uh, double drop down arrows here and they, uh, when I hover over it, it says expand all. And then from there, you can pretty much kind of scroll down and you can um, see the different emails uh, looking at the top of the email. If it's in a different color, you'll, as you, I'm sure you know, um, that is a previous email. Um, you can see these three dots that show up at times. This shows trim content. And so when I click on this, for example, I can see my previous reply. Um, but I can also actually see uh, that same reply up here, right? This is the original email, and this is this is the reply to the email. So I kind of don't necessarily always look at the trim content. Uh, sometimes it can just be a signature. Um, because sometimes it can be confusing. I'd like to kind of just avoid the trim content that's under the three dots if I can, and I just kind of look at the emails without the trim content. For me, that kind of helps understand it. So I can see the first email on this, and then I can see the next one um, as I scroll down. Um, if I want to just go back to my inbox, I can click there. Um, if I click back on this conversation view, you notice another way to expand it is by clicking on the little uh, double, the number over here, which pops up the, again, the double drop down. Um, if I want to reply to the newest email, it's just right here at the bottom. But if I want to reply to, for example, this email up here, I'm actually going to have to click on this email and then come over here um, within line in the top of the email and I can see the reply right here. Um, with some more options including if there was multiple people to reply all um, so to, to reply to an individual message in the thread I have to go to that specific email if I just hit reply it's going to reply um, to the newest email that was sent or uh, same thing with forwarder, forwarding another thing to be wary of is that um, in conversation view if I go ahead and I mark it unread it will actually mark all of them as unread click on do down here or for example if I archive them it's gonna archive all of the emails here you're gonna see them completely disappear but uh, be aware of that undo pop-up if I accidentally do that so if I archive it I come down here and I can undo it and that same thread pops back up um, so hopefully that will um, help you understand conversation view a little bit more. Um, it can be a little bit confusing. You can turn it off um, in your settings if you'd like. And to do that, I just go ahead and I click on the cog up here. I'm going to go down to my settings. I'm waiting for them to pop up. And then I can scroll down and I'm looking for conversation view in general settings. And I can turn it off right here. Um, remember that if I do turn it off, I have to scroll down to the bottom and save my changes. Um, and then when I go back, it's going to take a second for me to load, and those emails will no longer be in conversation view. And so you can see it's kind of more traditional. You can see the re, and you can see the forward over here, and the emails back and forth. So you have to decide if you like conversation view or not. Um, Hopefully that helps you understand it a little bit more. Remember, you can turn it on and off in the settings. Uh, thanks for watching and hope this helps.